Good morning. How can we be present to what's happening in the world without giving in to despair and hopelessness? That's a question that Krista Tippett responded to in an online interview some time ago. Just a few of the pieces of her response include the following. She said, I think it's important, first of all, to acknowledge the pain and dismay and distress and despair that just following the news, that being present to what's happening in the world causes. Now, however seriously we, might, we must take what's happening in the world and what the headlines are reflecting, however, it's not the full story of our time. It's not the last word on what we are capable of. It's not the whole story of us. I love that. It's not the whole story of us. She then goes on to say, there is a narrative of healing and hope and goodness. And we also, just as a discipline, have to take that in as well. Not instead of, but the both and of humanity and of the world. She says, and I think it's only in doing that that we keep flexing and strengthening our hope muscle. Hope is a muscle. It's a choice. It's a vigorous choice to see what's wrong and needs healing and needs repair and needs our attention and also keep our imaginations and our energy and our heart oriented toward what we want to build, what we want to create, what we are walking toward. As you go into this day, know that God is with you.